Oh, hello there, and welcome back. I, uh, I went to go heal up my Pokemon, like a good trainer should, and realized I couldn't get out unless I went through the grass. So here we are. And this is Route 9, so our Route 9 encounter, I have not caught anything here. So... Let's see what we can get. Obviously, we already have a Spiro, so that doesn't really count. A Ratata. Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot! Why are you gonna hit so hard, bruh? Yikes, get out of here. So we already have a rat. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else even here. Uh, let me... Let's swap Rump. Because I don't want him to become ill. I've already been there. <laughs> what am I doing? So, there is more grass. Not that that would really change what's on the route. I mean, it's not usually particular to the patch of grass. It's usually just kind of like the whole route. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything there we can even catch. Maybe a Caterpie, now that I see one. Alright, so we have Gust. Still thinking about that aerial ace in the back of my mind. Wow, okay. Um, Gust is uh, sufficient for now. And that's for sure. Ruby Q, you are too powerful. What are the odds I swap uh, her up front and we're facing a bug catcher? <laughs> One of the guys from the Viridian Forest, maybe. Viridian Forest? That's right, right? Why am I blanking? It's Viridian Forest. Don't make fun of me. Oh, a Venomat! Now that would be pretty cool. If we can catch one of those. Oh wow, he's pretty sturdy. Ooh, Foresight. That's too bad. Okay, you identified me. I hope that helps you. In the grave! <laughs> Super effective! All right. 321 XP, thank you, Connor. My bugs! <laughs> no! My bugs! Oh, shoot. I got excited, I saw the grass. I'm taking the rock tunnel to go to Lavender. Ooh, a little foreshadowing, huh? So there's a tunnel for Pokemon? Bro, you got four rats? Why you gotta be like that? Let's do quick attack. Yeah! Oh. Huh. Well, oh, I, th uh, I thought he would go with quick attack, so I was like, yeah, we'll get you first, buddy. But hey, we'll take it. Get out of here. Level up! Ding! <laughs> Ding! Hey. Whoa, look at that health. Kinda weird. <laughs> Santro! Whatcha? We could use Whirlwind. That could be kinda cool. I don't think this is resistant, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh well, that was a crit. <laughs> I was like, wow, yeah, that's, that's definitely not. <laughs> Quick attack! Got him. Alright. So yeah, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of trainers here. Also, I always seem to think that Ekans is a grass type because he's a snake, but he's not. I think he's just poison type. I always thought as a kid that like flying type moves should do super effective damage, but obviously it's not how this game works. And now we are all wrapped up. I'm not sure if we can leave, but we can always heal. 39 health, I think we're sitting pretty. We're okay. So, rap hits every turn, but I can't remember if it keeps you in the battle. I don't think so. Because Ekans is another one of those Pokemon. I think it's a Fire Red exclusive. I never have really used an Arbuck, but I would totally be down. Oh my gosh, this could take forever. Yeah, Keen Eye, baby! See, oh, that's another reason we don't really need Aerial Ace, because Aerial Ace obviously never misses. So, but we have Keen Eye, a pretty sweet ability, if I do say so myself. And uh, we, uh, Wing Attack will have 100% accuracy, so we should theoretically never miss anyways. Uh, but it's for those guys that have evasion and not accuracy loss, like the Pikachus. Quick Attack. Is doing less and less. Stop using defense curl. I'm gonna get poisoned. <gasps> Ruby cute. She's so cute. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> defense Rose, do you need that good sir? Ah, critical hit, thank you. Just bypasses all those buffs. Sucker. 
Sweet. Camper Drew. Can't measure up. They always have like these one-liner quips for some reason. A little patch of grass. Let's see. Anything new? Anything sweet? All right. Disgusting. Let's, uh, hold on. Let's, let's use Whirlwind. <gasps> ah! Oh. Get out of here. Why? <laughs> Holy cow. I don't know. I was so paranoid that that was going to do way more damage. Oh my gosh. Nope. Shoot. Sorry. Pokemon. There we go. Let's just swap you out. Yeah. Let's get Ismeme. Ismeme, you're not quite 25, so let's get you there. Uh, with a hiker. Ha ha ha. Aren't you a little tug toughy? Tuggy? What'd that say? <laughs> Tuggy. <laughs> I am a little toughy, stupid jerk. Geodude, uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Well, at least it's not on a chop, but nothing we have is very good. Let's try Hyper Fang for kicks and giggles. Wow, dude, Hyper Fang a rock. That's not bad. I was expecting like half that. Let's go. Mud Sport, okay, dude. Useless. Hyper Fang. Nice, one more and that might do it. <gasps> Ooh, that's a strong move. Okay, we're okay. Man, my heart is racing after that stupid Hyper Fang. Magnitude 5, okay. So, Magnitude, if you don't know, ground type move does more based on the roll you get. A 10 could actually kill us. I should have thought about that. Yikes. All right, whew, okay. Who's next? Machop. Oh, heck no. Nah. Neville, get out here, you resistant boy, you. <laughs> Sweet, sweet loving. It's too bad this guy couldn't learn Aerial Ice. I would teach it to him in a heartbeat. All right, Intimidate does its job as well as Water Pulse. We outspeed. That's awesome. Hmm. Oh, Seismic Toss. We haven't seen this move yet, I don't think. Nice. So that is a move that will do a static amount of damage, but it's dependent on the user's level. So because he was level 20, it did a solid 20 damage. I didn't see who was coming out next, but I'm just going to keep Neville out. Geodude. Good thing. You get a quick water pulse on this boy. Get him out of here. Yeah. Super effective. Nice. We don't have a Geodude yet, do we? No, we got Zubat in the cave. That's right. Well, we do have a cave coming up, so that could be cool. Hello. Oh, another person. Uh, I'm too lazy to heal up. Uh, let's just swap. Let's get Wage up front. Haven't seen Wage since. Wait, have we seen Wage since it's become a Weeping Bell? I don't know if we've seen it in battle. Cool. Here we go. A Meowth. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, maybe we have. Well, no, maybe. <laughs> this sprite is just, I don't know. I'm used to it. Acid! Get soaked, you cat! Oh, wow. Oh, and it has a chance to make the defense fall. That's nifty. Wait, so maybe it doesn't have a chance to make it poison. I should look at that. <gasps> Payday! What a cool move. Coins scattered everywhere. That is a really cool move. You actually get money. Oh, wait. Actually, we might get money from that. Hello? Nice. If you're in search of money. Wait. Oh, maybe we don't. Maybe it has to be yours to pick it up. Hello. Ha 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 ha. Bring it on. I'm pretty sure this is a guy that we saw before. And there's an item. So I want it. Alan, I would like to fight you. Geodude, you fool. All right. If we do not learn a decent grass move here pretty soon, Vine Whip is good. But the 10 PP makes it kind of like meh for like long voyages. Like, I don't know, say through a cave. Uh, we might be teaching Bullet Seed to ya boy instead of whatever our other move is there. I can't remember. Defense Rose, it's not going to matter. I never understood. Onyx is a fast Pokemon, but why? Makes no sense. Hey, 26. Congrats. You're the first Pokemon on the team to hit 26. Ha ha ha. You beat me fair. You darn right I did. Why are there so many people accusing us of cheating? A Burn Heal. Useless. Nah, it's good. It's just one less item we have to buy. Alright. Probably should have beat that guy earlier. 
Okay. Hey. Oh! Oh, wait. Wait, this is Route 10! Okay, wait. So I don't... Okay. Maybe there's nothing we can get on Route 9. Um, I'm excited for Route 10. Let's go there. <laughs> Wee! All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I synced it. Ah! Ah! Stop it! There we go. Uh, Chesto Berry. Thank you. I don't know what that does. Maybe it's like an awakening. I can't remember. All right, Route 10. Do we have Pokeballs? Need to check. 20. Oh, and we have a Great Ball. Nice. All right, I have no idea what we can catch here other than a Voltorb. <laughs> Let's go. Voltorb, here we come. Sandro. I good thing we already have a Sandro. All right, get out of here. Level 11? What? Why so low? Honestly, though, why so low? Come on, Voltorb! Hey, Voltorb! Level 14, okay. No gender. I remember that. Sleep powder. Yeah! All right, so we're gonna get a Voltorb on the team. Well, not on the team, per se. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if we're gonna use him or not. He would take some training to be used now. Also, he's not super useful where we're going, so. Pokeball for the Voltorb. <laughs> oh, shoot. I wonder how much health he has. Dragon Rage would do 40. I don't know if he has 40 health at level 14, yikes. Pokeball, go. I really want him in a Pokeball because of how ironic it is. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Voltorb. Whoop, whoop. Doperino. All right. Oh, usually found something, something. Yes, we are going to nickname. Okay, and the word. Thank you for commenting. Toxic. All right, and I'm going to go with. Uh, toxic makes me think of purple, so we'll go with Poxic, or we could go with Turple. I think Poxic sounds a little bit better. Poxic. Poxic. Makes sense. Moving on. Slap them in box one. Thank you so much for commenting. Guys, I need more comments, actually, so that we can have more fun nicknames. Yes, I would like to heal because everybody is injured somehow, some way. There's a Professor's Oaks, uh, for Professor's Oaks aid. What are you doing here, buddy? Come here. You. Oh, Camel. I've been looking for you. Wait, what? What do you have for me? 20 species, we have that. Oh, an Everstone, cool, that's so useless. Hey, great, you caught 23, congrats, here you go. An Everstone, nice. However, at times you may not want a certain Pokemon to evolve. That's right, so an Everstone is something you would give to your Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there's Ghost in Lavender Town, who are you? Types of Pokemon match up with every type is stronger than what I love you. So Everstones will keep your Pokemon from Evolving so if you really like your Pikachu, well, that's a bad example um, <laughs> If you really like your uh, Pokemon and don't want it to evolve uh, Because every single level after it's supposed to evolve you can press B to cancel the evolution But it will try to evolve every single time I've been out of out at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. How are you here? How what how did you get cut or surf or fly? Y you got here somehow lady with your Pikachu. You should have been able to beat Misty with a Pikachu. What in the world? It's so bad. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're fine. Acid! Uh, the Everstone is not useful for us, actually, indeed. I guess it could have been useful for Nidorina when we had her. But it's not a huge inconvenience for me to wait a few levels. But yeah, a Clefairy! That's interesting. All right. Okay, uh, it's, hey, it's uh, called Double Slap or whatever. Don't hit me three times, all right? I'm glad we have an understanding. Get out of my face. There we go! 291. After all, blah, blah, blah. 400 bucks. Cheapo. Okay, we have made it to Rock Tunnel, and this is how we get to Lavender Town. But we need something first. We need a Pokemon that can learn Flash. All right. I'm pretty sure anybody can. The Pokemon I'm least least likely to use. I'm sorry, Torps, but it, I think it's you. Ah, 
Which Pokemon am I least likely to use in the cave, though? Hmm. Ruby cute, really? Yeah, probably. I'm thinking like rock types are not good against flying, and then even if we run into like a Machop or something, uh, I don't want to send Ruby cute into that because it's part normal. Ah, the decisions I must make as a Pokemon master. Okay, TM case. I mean, we could teach this thing cut too. I think. What? He's not even able? Oh shoot! Well, that sucks. Who can learn Flash? Voltorb can definitely learn Flash. I don't think I want to teach a Flash, though. Oh, no. I did not think about this. Hmm. Well, hold on. I'm still not using you. What am I doing? Meowth can probably learn it? Spearow probably can as well. You definitely can. Huh. Can you learn it? That would be... That would solve all of my problems. Because I don't really plan on using Beedrill, but then even if I did, I don't think Beedrill can learn any good moves. So, having one slot wasted... Crap! Ah, it was too good to be true. I'm sorry, Pocky. You're going back in the box. You shiny boy. Dang it! Well, uh, I mean, there is a move deleter, so we can get rid of HMs at some point. Um, but it's not for a while. Well, I suppose I'm not going to use Voltorb for a while. Voltorb, or... Eh, I don't want to screw one of our flyers. Meowth. Let's do Meowth. Almond, my sweet boy. You must be able to learn it. If you can't, you're... You're still precious to me. Ha! Ah! Okay. Phew. <sighs> all right. Well, somebody can learn it. If this is all because of my inadequate brain, not knowing the layout to Rock Tunnel. I know speedrunners know it, heart front and back and left and center, but I am not such as the. Oh my goodness! And now look at the time. We're gonna have to cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know down in the comments what you would like a Pokemon to be named like we did in this episode. I will combo it with something that I come up with on the spot. Hopefully it's better than purple. Anyways, until next time, join the Discord in the description. God bless and thank you for watching. Stay hydrated.